Hello everyone, it's David from Automotive Press. I am super excited to be talking about the Toyota Crown behind me, which is all new, and we finally get it here in North America. As you know, I was born and raised in Japan, so I grew up around Toyota Crowns. Everything from taxi to executive cars are using Toyota Crown, and I have been to the factories that are also producing crowns in the past. So it is so excited to talk about this model that is finally coming back to North America, and we are going to get to drive this and own them. But for now, I can only talk about the static review right now and not about the driving review which will come later on. So what I want to do today is even though this is a pre-production model and it's not the final version, I'm going to walk around and tell you whether I think it's well made or not because the crown is made in Japan at the Motomach factory and I'm going to do my engineer's audit in terms of the exterior design and also the quality control and see if it lives up to my expectations. So let's go. So here is the all new Toyota Crown and this one is being built at the Toyota Motomachi factory. And I've been very fortunate because I've been to that factory more than 30 times over the last uh, three decades because I have been going there for a very long time. And the uh, Motomachi factory is like the mother factory we call it for all other factories in the world because it's a training ground where people come and learn about manufacturing and Toyota production system. So it's a very important factory and that's why some of the uh, models like this are produced over there and uh, as you may or may not know, specialty cars like the uh, Toyota GR Corolla, GR Yaris and even the Lexus LC are also built in Motomachi, although it's in a slightly different area of the factory. Now let's take a look to see if this Toyota Crown lives up to our expectation in terms of the overall quality. Again, keep in mind this is what we call the pre-production model. Uh, therefore, it doesn't represent the final quality, but most Toyota cars in this format at this stage in the game is already really well made. Uh, but this one here, let's take a look to see if, if indeed it meets my expectation as an automotive engineer. So I'm looking for a panel alignment, the paint finish, the gap consistency, uh, especially as you go from panel to panel to panel. Uh, as you know, I'm a former manufacturing engineer for a number of car companies, so I'm pretty picky about these things. So if you look at the gap, I don't have the gauges with me right now, but this gap right here, it's about uh, 3.5 millimeter here, and goes all the way to the front, almost exactly the same, almost no difference in terms of the gap uh, between the front and the back of the hood. There is a little bit of a misalignment between here and here. This one is slightly higher, about 0.5 of a millimeter. So that's still acceptable and they will adjust that because this hood can be adjusted. Now let's take a look at the other side here, if there's any different. Uh, so you can see the corner right here. This is very hard to get it right, uh, but it's perfectly aligned in terms of this corner and this corner. So that is really well done here. And also great job on the stamping because this right here at the edge, oftentimes very difficult to get it right, but you can see the pointed edge. Uh, it's also very well done. Uh, yeah, also about 3.5 millimeter here, which is actually very narrow. Oftentimes these cars have four millimeter or higher. So this is world class at this point. Now let's keep on looking at other panels here on the side between the front fender and the front door, even better. This is about three millimeter now and the alignment is almost perfect. Hard to believe this is a pre-production model. It's almost impossible to get this level of quality for uh, a car at this point in time because this is not the final version. What about between front door and the rear door? Uh, also extremely tight and they, you notice they put some rubber gasket in between the door. That's a new approach nowadays to decrease uh, sound from outside and to increase the quietness. Not all manufacturer does that but there is a gasket here. Uh, also you can see the gasket inside here as well. Okay, let's keep moving here between the rear door and the rear fender. This is about 3.8 millimeter, but it's very consistent all the way from top to bottom. Uh, perfect alignment here as well. Uh, and then this is the, the best way to tell if it's well made. This thing here, which is the field cap, often difficult to get it aligned. Most manufacturers do not get it right. And this thing is usually sticking out a little bit or it's misaligned, but you can tell, look at that. Perfect finish and also the gap all the way around is extremely consistent. Very difficult to get this right. And once again, hard to believe that this is a pre-production model. Uh, also over here, roof lines, the edges here, and looking through uh, the top looks all good. All the molding are nicely uh, formed and there's no funny edges or rough corners. 
The paint finish on the gloss black is also almost perfect. This one is also really hard to get it right, but it looks literally perfect on this vehicle. Uh, now keep on, let's keep on looking at the back here, the, between the trunk and the rear fender, a really good finish. The stamping is done well here, right in the corner. That's hard to get it right, and the gap is perfect. Now let's take a look at the paint job. This is this interesting combo which has the black paint contrasting with red. You would have never thought that this will look good, but actually looks great in this particular crown, makes it pop out, but just gives it very modern feel. But what about the actual paint job? You can tell it has a really good gloss, almost no orange peel. You can see a little bit of orange peel here, but if you look at the edge, which is always hard to get it right, uh, it's almost perfect, almost like a glass finish right here. And same thing as you uh, go look at the side as I kneel down here and look at the paint finish from here all the way to back. Uh, wow, is this really a pre-production model? Is this, or is it a final model? It looks just as good or better than many final production models. Uh, sometimes it's hard to get the paint job done right along the edge here, but almost perfect finish on the side paint as well. Same thing, almost like a mirror finish and literally no orange peel. You don't want excessive orange peel because that kind of detracts from the quality of the paint. But overall, I would give the paint finish on this a solid A and then also the panel alignment. Maybe A minus just because it's a bit misaligned. So to get A minus for panel alignment and body integrity and solid A for um, paint when this is still a pre-production model is unheard of. And I've noticed every time we get a prototype from Japan, like the BZ4X I reviewed a while back, uh, it's almost like a production model. So I'm very happy with the exterior. Uh, all of the uh, trims looks good. There's no problem with the fit and finish in terms of how they're fitting in. Look at this gap here. It's perfectly aligned. These edges also line up exactly. Uh, and all the trims looks good. Even the parking sensor, sometimes they stick out in the pre-production model, it's almost perfect. The headlight bezels the, the, uh, and their fit looks good. Even the paint on this plastic bumper, sometimes it's hard to get that right. It looks, again, nearly perfect. I like this uh, kind of honeycomb design in the front. A very interesting grille, by the way, and the integration of all the parts looks absolutely fantastic. So the quality is first class. Even at this stage of the manufacturing, let's take a quick look inside to see how the quality is. So here is the inside of the crown. Uh, I know it doesn't look all that fancy and so forth, but it's a very practical, functional design. It looks very European, which probably was our intention anyway for the crown to compete with some of the best from Mercedes, Audi, and also from BMW. Uh, but it is a simple design, which I think Asians love that, especially Japanese, they like the simple design. Uh, but let's just take a look at the parts fit and the quality of the materials. The actual quality of the plastic materials looks excellent. Usually you can tell by the way the light shines against these materials. You don't want it to be too shiny because it looks fake and cheap. But this one looks just the right amount of gloss. Same thing with the plastic here. And these uh, glossy black are minimized now so that it doesn't uh, hopefully get too much fingerprints and scratches. And everything looks good here. Uh, all the parts fit well. The fit and finish looks good. Once again, I can't replicate any kind of loose material, so everything is, feels really solid when I do this. And look at the quality of the actual plastic injection, the buttons, uh, and, and the feel of the buttons also even. It has a real ni nice tactile feel, and it's hard to believe this is a pre-production model. But all the switches feels just right. A good cup holder size here. You get two USB-Cs, but not USB-A in terms of the input. And then you've got um, a pretty reasonably big center console here. Uh, and the seats are actually uh, really well designed as well. Good design, good material, good leather material. Uh, and uh, dash is easy to see, good uh, infotainment system. But once again, in terms of the overall quality of the leather, of the stitching, of the actual plastic injection molding, the feel of the buttons, the switches, you know what, it's all first class. I haven't checked extensively the st stereo system compared to other models within Toyota, but so far it sounds pretty good. So the most important thing is whether or not parts fit properly, the materials look good, 
the stitchings are well done and there's nothing that's out of place and I can tell you that you know what even for a pre-production model this thing is solid A in terms of interior my only complaint is the design of this interior I think it looks a bit too plain but perhaps uh, well suited for Asian market who do not want have something that looks too uh, too fancy so that's the interior fit and finish uh, looks absolutely excellent the exterior looks great and overall quality of this vehicle even as a pre-production model is absolutely first rate so the Motomachi manufactured Toyota Crown appears to be almost perfect in terms of exterior interior quality and design I can't wait to tell you more about the driving feel that's coming up later on when the embargo left but for now I give this Toyota Crown a solid A in terms of manufacturing quality inside and out which is unheard of for a pre-production model so kudos to Toyota for building a great vehicle I can't wait to talk more about it until next time I'm signing off for now